This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry, and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counselors will help you. Shalom and greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Man in Christ show and I am your host, Pastor Reynard Munuve. Today I am joined uh, once again by my teacher, my brother, my friend, Dr. Juma. I welcome you, sir, to greet the people. Thank you very much, viewers. <coughs> uh, welcome to the show. As uh, Pastor said, um, Dr. Juma, now Professor Juma, uh, I thank you so much for creating time to be able to share with us this word of God. And I believe you are going to be blessed. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Yes. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege to share in your word. We pray that you open our eyes of understanding. We pray that this word will fall in our hearts, become uh, the seed that fell on good ground and produced a hundredfold. I pray that you lead us by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Cause us, O oh Lord, to speak uh, with simplicity to your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for, for everything and for the grace to teach and, and for, for the viewers to the glory of your name. We thank you, Lord, for the lives that are being built and the things that you are doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Welcome to the man in Christ show. If any man be in Christ Jesus, according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 17, the old King James version, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. The old things have passed away, all things have become new. We have said many times it has got nothing to do with gender, but is calling for everyone, every human being. The moment you step into Christ, you become a new creature. There is, there is a form that you take. There is an image that you take. It is the image of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can now only be identified in him, be defined in him. But it is also good that now you have believed in him, that you have walked in him because he says, behold, all things have become new. Now to behold is to see or to look at. There are things that we need to look at that will help us in this new life that we have in Christ. And one of the things to look at is the area of discipleship. We are supposed to make disciples. We ourselves also are supposed to be discipled uh, to be like Christ. Therefore, today we are going to discuss about disciple making. This is part two of it. It will be important for you to get into our into our social media channels so that you may be able to be able to get the the, the first teaching concerning this subject the making of disciples and for today we will get to we'll get to the book of luke chapter number 14 luke 14 and verse 25 he says now great multitudes went with him and he turned and said to them, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. He cannot be my disciple. And you see, Professor, yes. now now I'm getting used to calling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes time. Uh, I was used to the doctor thing. Yeah, it takes time. <laughs> but I don't mind even if it's doctor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, when we read uh, this scripture, yes. because Jesus here is not teaching hatred. No. But he wants us to love him more. 
than anything else yes. more than our fathers more than our mother more than the wife more than the children exactly. more than even our own selves yeah. that means to be a true disciple yes. the love that we have towards jesus yes. must be above everything else yes, exactly mm. because you see uh, for us to be a disciple yeah as we said in our first uh, part one of this teaching yeah we said that discipleship is mentorship Yes. And uh, once you have believed in somebody, mm. it's like you have given yourself to him. To them, yeah. You are, you are to them. You are part of them. Yeah. So there's no any other thing that matters. It's only them that mm. that matters. Mm. And that's why now it comes to a point that Jesus was trying to test these people. Yeah. Because there were so many that were mm. going after him. And he knew very well that uh, this is a group. But now he wanted to tell them. Mm. The standard of being a disciple yeah. was the the, the 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 section that you have just read mm. that uh, uh, in verse twenty six. Yeah. If anyone comes to me yeah. and does not hate his father, but as you said, loving beyond mm. your father and mother, mm. beyond your sister, beyond yeah. your brother, and beyond yourself, beyond yourself, that you love him more than any other thing. Yeah. Yes. Because sometimes you'll find that. Uh, mm. The, the things around us, yes. sometimes we tend to love them more than we love God. Exactly. We even self-love. Yeah. You love your own sleep yes. more than you love Jesus. So you can't yes. even wake up to pray. <laughs> yes. You love, you care more for, for the belly more than about uh, Jesus. Jesus yes. You yeah. can't even take some time to, to fast over a thing exactly. uh, 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 because you have there are things you have exalted above. more above Jesus. Very true. You care so much about your friends, yeah, uh, which is a good thing. Yeah. But then anything that comes into competition yeah. with your love for God, yeah, and it topples him, yeah, or it takes the the, uh, position, the, the position of Christ in your heart of Christ in your heart. Yes, that 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 one he cannot accept. And yes, that's why. The Bible gives us only two commandments. Yes. And the first commandment is love thy Lord as you love uh, yourself. Mm. And then the second one is uh, love thy neighbor. No, it's the, love. The love your God with yeah, all your yeah, heart, with all your mind. With all your mind. And then love thy neighbor as you love yourself. yourself. So that means the first one, which is God. the vertical relationship, mm. is the most important. Yes. And if that one doesn't work, then if the horizontal one of loving thy neighbors, they love thyself, it will not work. It will not work. Mm. It will be maybe a false kind of love or just loving because it's a conditional kind of it's love. a conditional kind of love yes. mm. and it happens a lot of times that yeah. uh, even in our conduct in church yes. on the things of god mm. you'll find that uh, you are committed in church maybe but maybe perhaps it is because you are an employee in that church yeah exactly so if you stop being an employee not being the prayer service <laughs> <laughs> and that is very true. <laughs> Actually, people are committed in church with different agendas. Different agendas. Hey, people sometimes are committed there because there are something you are looking for. Yeah, yeah. Or because you are doing business. Or because you are doing business in the, the church. church. <laughs> and so once the business is cut off, that your relationship also with the church. Is you cut. can even change. You can change, even change. Change. Church. Yeah. But being planted in that church means that you are there. Mm. Whether things are happening or not happening, mm. you are there for Christ. You are there for Christ. It is Christ that has brought you there. Yeah. Not the things. Not the things. Yes. Yeah. And that's how it should be. Yeah. This this is important because sometimes, uh, and this, this is where you know mm. the thing that really attracted the people to church. Yes. Uh, once the thing is taken out, or once the thing does not exist anymore, then now you start getting late. Yeah, you start getting so late. So it's like, you are faithful yeah. uh, 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 and, and you are available yeah. because you are a deacon. Yes. Now that you are no longer a deacon, deacon you are now available. you are not in the services. <laughs> and that happens a lot, actually. Uh, that's uh, yeah. Not to make the name of Christ or to be able to build Christ. Yeah. You are there to build yourself. To build yourself. So that people would see you. And that's why Jesus was testing them. Here. Mm. And he was asking them, if you don't love me mm. beyond your father and mother, yeah. beyond your sisters and brothers, beyond mm. yourself, yeah. then you cannot be my disciple. You cannot be my disciple. Uh, because for you to be his, your disciple, his disciples, mm. is that it is him who become the center yeah. of your life. Yeah. Yes. Verse 27 talks of bearing um, one's cross. Yes. Whoever does not bear his cross mm. and come after me yes. cannot be my disciple. Now, yeah. we look at these two things. 
Yeah. Let us first go to the book of John, chapter number six. Mm. Jesus had fed them with a natural bread. Yes. And they were looking for Jesus. Yeah. Just like we have said, people are in church for different reasons. Very true. When you read that verse 25, mm. they were, the people were looking for Jesus. Verse 25 says, And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, mm. when did you come here? Mm. Verse 26, Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, <laughs> but because you ate of the loaves and we are filled. So mm. these people, it was a natural hunger. Yes. That was making them to go after, go after Jesus, Jesus. Yes. because they were expecting mm. that uh, Jesus would perform the miracle again mm. and they'll be filled yeah. to capacity. Mm. They were following him for food, yes. natural food. food yeah. And the, the society now is no better than these ones. Yeah. People are uh, uh, many times they are they are in church for natural things. Yeah. People are in church because they can do business in church. church yeah. People are in church because they expect to marry a good wife. lady, a good wife, a good to get a good husband from the church. church yeah. Because mm. they don't want to get one from the bar. bar yeah. So they <laughs> <laughs> so they'd rather go to the they, they'd rather go to the church yeah. because they expect to find a godly man there. Yeah. So once they get what they were looking for mm. one once the need the material need in them yeah. has been met yes now jesus becomes secondary to secondary. them and the things of the, god become secondary to them secondary, yes. the same with these people mm. but jesus pointed it out mm. what you have mm. is not a real affection for me it's not yeah. that you are seeking for me yes. it's not that you love me no or my ministry yes it is food that is but making that, you to come after me and that's true pastor because you know mm. the 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 thing that really competes <coughs> Christ mm. in any other life is food. Mm. Because you see, even if you were doing businesses, all those things culminate to food. Yeah. Uh, whether you want more money, you want whatever, you are doing everything. The, 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 the reason why people are running up and down mm. here on earth is because of food. Because of food. You just want to put food on the table. Mm. Uh, of course, you want luxury and other, but the ultimate goal is to have Food. So you mm. find that food is one of the highest competitor mm. in the things of God. Yeah. And that's why things like fasting becomes a problem. Mm. Because God knew that the only way that you can be able to listen to him is you can be able to fast mm. and subdue your body through not eating, not drinking, mm. so that you can now be able to listen to him. Yeah. And you see now, uh, when Jesus talked of, you are following me, following me because of food, yeah. It is just because he saw mm. that these people's heart were not for him, but was for the food. Was for the food. Which is the material thing we are talking about. Yeah. Yes. Look at verse 27. Yes. This was his uh, advice to them. Mm. Do not labor for the food which perishes, yes. Yes. but for the food which endures yes. to everlasting yes. life, which the Son of Man will give you, mm. because God the Father has set his seal on, on him. him. Yes. So Jesus gives now them the true food, the true food or the yes. true bread. Yes. Then they said to him, mm. verse 28, mm. what shall we do that we may work the works of, of God? God. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very important question. Yes. This is what Apostle Paul, then Saul, was asking. Yeah. What shall I do? do? Yes. And we said this should be, this should be uh, the, 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 the question every disciple must have. Ourselves. What is it that I need to do? do. And the same question mm. was also asked by Peter. Yes. When he had preached in the book of Acts. Yes. Then the people asked, because when they were cut in their spirits. In their hearts, yes. Yeah, in their hearts. And then they asked, then what shall we do? What shall we do? Yes. Yeah. Mm. That we may work the works of God. Of God, yes. Jesus answered, this is the work of God. God. Mm. Believe in him whom he sent. Yes. Believe in him whom he sent. Now, mm. these people were not genuine with their question. Mm. Because from the onset, Jesus told them the reason why you're following me is for food. food yes. Even when they're asking him what we must do, mm -hmm. when they were told what they must do, they started, they started arguing about it. <laughs> yes. But yes. we said the disciple yes. must be obedient to the teaching, the teaching yes. of the person they have believed. It's true. So they were told this is the one that yes. you need to do, do yes. believe in yes. Jesus. Yes. Then they started having an argument about, about all that. Yeah. But... Uh, 
Jesus pointed out that he was the true bread mm -hmm. that they needed to have. Uh, it's a long story, so I want to, to jump part of it. Because Jesus here told them that they must, mm. they must now eat his flesh mm. and drink his blood. Yeah. This is what he says, mm. verse 51. Mm. I am the bread which came down from heaven. Yeah. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. Now speaking of himself. Yeah. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, yeah. which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore quarreled among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, most assuredly I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life mm -hmm. in you. He said, for my flesh is food indeed and my blood is drink indeed. indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood but abides in me and I, I in him. Mm. When we eat his flesh and drink his blood. Yes. Then verse, verse 66 says, mm. from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. No more. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, whom to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Also, we have come to believe and to know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Mm. He had disciples. Yes. When he introduced them to the real food, yeah. many of them went back. Yeah. They said, Malizan yeah. now these people <laughs> <laughs> these people were at uh, the level of the flesh yeah they believed that uh, the food that <coughs> Jesus would give them mm. was supposed to be bread the normal bread yeah the physical bread mm. but they didn't know that Jesus had another type of bread because he himself was the bread of life he was the bread of life yeah, yeah. and so this was now spiritual food mm. which these people had not understood they had no revelation yeah. of spiritual food yes and the spiritual food that jesus was giving them mm. and is what he is, is saying in uh, 63 yeah that it is the spirit who gives life the flesh profits nothing mm. the words that i speak to you are spirit and they are life because yeah. now yeah. these people are very much based on the flesh mm. whatever they were basing their argument Whatever they knew was the, the physical bread that they could eat yeah. and anything that they could see. Yeah. But Jesus was speaking at another level mm. that these people were not able to understand. Yeah. Because he was now wanted to give them food, which is the food of the spirit. Mm. And that this food of the spirit was the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And so that, that word that he was telling them to eat, mm. that would be able to give them eternal life. They didn't understand that this is what Jesus wanted. This is what Jesus wanted. Was, was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Matthew 16. Yes. Matthew 16 and 24. Yeah. Then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desires to come after me, yes. let him deny himself yes. and take up his cross and For follow me. me. Mm. If anyone, yes. if, if, if anyone desires to come. You see, mm. it is one thing to have a desire. Yes. Is another thing to fulfill oh, the demands of that desire. That desire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because just like we have, we have read in the book of John, many were following him. Yes. But when he gave them the conditions, yeah. many of his disciples yeah, left. left. Mm. They had the desire to follow him. Yeah. But when it became difficult, yeah. they followed. Uh, they followed him no more. Mm. Uh, I love the New Living Translation, Matthew sixteen twenty four. Then Jesus said to his disciple to the disciples. If any of you wants to be my follower, mm. you must put aside your selfish ambition, mm. shoulder your cross, mm. and follow me. Yes. Mm. Yeah, actually, in the living, uh, in that version, it comes out very clearly. It is it's not by default that man is selfish. Yeah. We, we are all born like uh, selfish people. Yeah. Everybody wants something for himself. Yeah. And that's why you find that human beings naturally would want things in their name. Mm. They would want this in my name. This is mine. 
this is what you go to a boarding school and find kids. Every kid has a big box mm. and he put his stuff there. Yeah. And his name, a big name written, written. On, on the box. Yeah. This is mine. So nobody wants sharing. Nobody wants to give self to somebody else. Yeah. And this is what Christ is trying to teach us. Yeah. That actually we are his. We are not of our own. We are not of our we own. We have been bought by his blood. Yeah. And so we belong to him. Yeah. And we don't have say about ourselves yeah but the problem is that we still have we still want to have say mm. but this life was already bought yeah and it had already, you can't sell for me this tab mm. and then still want to have a say on it yes yes yeah because already once you you have sold the tab to mm. me, it i've relinquished my ownership you have relinquished your, 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 your mm. whatever mm. Your, your powers mm. and so that's exactly what jesus is talking about here then deny yourself that mm. is relinquish yourself to him and now you follow what he says Follow exactly what he wants. What he wants. Follow his commandments. Mm. And then that's how now you become a, a disciple. So, so mm. when, when, we look, when we join this with the account of Luke. Yes. Because Luke says, must love him more mm -mm. than our brothers, than our sisters, than our wives, than our children, than anything. Yeah. Then we become true disciples. Yes. Then he also says we showed our cross. So mm. that love is like the foundation. Exactly. Then on that foundation, mm. we build yeah. on has carrying that cross yes for he says here if you want to be my follower mm. put aside your selfish ambition shoulder your cross yeah and follow me now yeah when we talk of the cross mm. um, the cross is the place of death actually yeah. it is pointing to the to, to, to death. death yeah. this is whereby we we die to self yes that's why this version says uh not to put up now with your selfish ambition Soon, yes Exactly. You want to be great, that is good thing, but yeah. then let people see the greatness of God in you. In you, yeah. Mm. You want to be recognized, but yes. then let now when you are a true disciple of yeah. Jesus, let then people see. let people see the Christ in you. Yeah. So it seems like your own ambitions are suppressed. Yes. So that Christ in you is seen. It's seen yeah, exactly. Apostle Paul says it is no longer me who lives, yes, but, but Christ who lives in me. Because Christ was a perfect example of, yeah. of true life. <coughs> yeah. And so if somebody manifests Christ, mm. then you 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 manifest life. Mm. You manifest very many things that human the human uh, society requires now. Because when Christ was here on earth, he did good things. Mm. And that means that when you are manifesting Christ, you are manifesting good. Mm. You are manifesting things that are daily in need on this earth. Mm. And that's what people are looking for. Mm. People are not looking for how much you are rich or how educated you are, like now I'm saying a professor. That doesn't matter. Mm. What matters are you having Christ and is Christ being seen in you? Yeah. I think that's the, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And that's the bottom line. Such that yeah. you are, mm. you are, your own things can come, yes. number two, number, two, number three, yes. but let Christ, Christ be seen, be seen yeah. first. Yeah. So that, uh, mm. because if we fail to tame ourselves, because yes. carrying the cross uh, uh, means even sacrificing our own things. Yes. Apostle Paul says of many things that were beneficial to him, he had to sacrifice. But then he says, I count them as Dug. as, as dug. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Why? For the love of Christ, Christ. For the things of God. Yes. So that Christ can be seen. So mm. true disciples, uh, uh, a true disciple must learn a thing called sacrifice. Very important. Must learn to die For to themselves. To themselves, true. So that Christ can live in them in and them, be yeah. seen in them. Yeah. But so long as you are still alive, as <laughs> so long as you're still alive then Christ is not in you the life of Christ cannot be seen the life of Christ cannot be seen then uh, Christ himself will be dead in you yes because you are alive <laughs> you can't be alive two of you yes it's either you are alive and Christ is dead yes or Christ is alive yes and you are dead yes this is how it should this be this is how it should be yes and you see sometimes people also think that it could be half half mm. that you are half half alive <laughs> and <Christ is> also, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Yeah. It's, it's either you die completely, and that's why you have to crucify. Your it's person. a complete surrender to it's God. Complete surrender to God. Mm. It's difficult, but it is possible. It is possible. Uh, yes. And it is the way to go. It's the way to go. Yeah. Because there's grace for it. Yeah. Uh, because grace. it says yeah. for you mm. to become a true disciple, yes. then you must carry that cross. Exactly. And anytime we see cross, yeah. see the cross here, we see one, we see death. Yeah. Two, we see life. Yes. 
It is our death, <laughs> the life of Christ. Yes, and some people think that you carry the physical cross. Uh -uh. You walk. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a chain on your no, neck no, or, or something on or your... something <laughs> physical. No, no, no. Mm. It is not that. Yeah. It is the suffering of Christ and the sacrifice. You see the things you sacrifice mm. for God. Yes. That is carrying the cross. That's true. Even like the, those you are saying of fasting. Yes. Uh, you love this thing, but then you so cannot do it, do it for the things of God. God. Yes. You love, uh, for example, uh, I love watching football. Yes. But uh, if if there's if if there is a service, then it doesn't matter who is playing. <laughs> yeah, you love to forgo the the, the 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 football. I don't even think of it. Yes. Yeah. And you go to the service. And I go to the service. That that's a great sacrifice. Yeah. So mm. it is the things we can let go. Yes. And saying mm. this one. If it will be done, to be done much, much later. Uh, yes. But there is a king's business here, that, that and it requires done. haste. Yeah. It must be done. Mm. It cannot be put aside for something else. Very, very critical. That's yeah. Very, very. And, and and if our believers today can understand that mm. that uh, following Christ or being a disciple requires sacrifice, mm. then it would be very. Far. I remember when we got saved. Yeah. I was living in an estate known as Kimbeni, mm. and we used to walk at around three in the morning yeah. to go to Buckstown for prayer. Mm. Uh, and that was, uh, it, it didn't feel like it was a sacrifice. It felt like it was normal and something that you need to do. Yeah. Something that I don't know whether I'm given an opportunity today I would do it. Mm. But then that was the level of sacrifice that people used to sacrifice for Christ. Mm. You could go to any mile yeah. for Christ. There was a brother, we used to stay with them in, in Mshomoroni. Mm. This brother would fast for three days for somebody's problem. Not his own problem. For somebody's problem. Yes, somebody comes and says, oh, brother, I'm passing through this and that. And the guy would go and say, oh, I'll fast for you. Mm. And he actually do a three-day drive fast for your problem. For your problem. Yeah. So that's the kind of sacrifice and the kind of love that mm. we could see those days of true disciples. Yeah. Yes. Very true. You see, Professor. Yes. The, 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 the cross. Yes. The cross is not a massage parlor. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it, it is it is the place of, of, of tears. Yes. It is the place of pain. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes you see um, you have to choose the, the, the hard way. Yeah. That's the cross. That's true. When there is a way of escape, but then you know that way of escape is not godly. Yeah. And so you cannot follow that. Mm. And so you carry the cross in that in other words you you allow yourself to suffer for christ you yes. see mm. disciples must be taught that yeah. sometimes mm. you will you love to suffer for christ it's true there are things you will go through uh, and 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 there is a way of escape if you let go yes. of your of your of your testimony of yeah. your salvation yeah. of your faith mm. but then for the sake of christ right then you endure. Yeah. So there cannot be true discipleship without one learning how to endure. And it is also good that uh, mm. we look at that in the, in the, in the, in the short to come yeah. uh, on the matters of endurance. Mm. But then Jesus told us to learn how to, to carry this cross. Um, look at uh, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. He says, Apostle Paul verse 8, mm. we are hard pressed on every side yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. Verse 11, he says, For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. flesh. He says that he is pressed on every side, mm. but his faith is not crushed. Yes. In other words, he's going through some stuff, yeah. yet he is able to endure and is able to carry through. Exactly. And sometimes that uh, that may also means you foregoing some pleasures of the world. Yes. And the body demands or the body desires to be involved. Mm. But then 
because of your salvation, because of your faith, yeah. are able to say no. Yeah. I will not be part of this. Uh, maybe you can Ephesians 5, verse 19. He says, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, mm. uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murder, drunkenness, reveries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Mm. Verse 24 is my emphasis. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So carrying this cross yes. uh, will involve you crucify the flesh. Yes. The flesh wants this. Yeah. But then you must be able to tell the flesh, no. No. And you see, the, the, the flesh is, is one thing not go to heaven. It belongs here on earth. It belongs on earth. So it is attracting the things. The things. Are <laughs> so, so it's actually a residency. Yes. yes. And, but for example, you must first know that you are not a resident. Yes. You are a passerby. Yes, yes. You are here temporarily. Yeah. And at the appointed time, mm. you have to depart. You have to depart. But the flesh belongs here. Mm. And so because that's why when somebody dies, mm. they take the flesh to the to, to the grave. To the grave. Mm. And they say, uh, from the soil you came mm. and the fro and to the soil you yeah, go back. You go back. But you see, if you follow the flesh, mm. then it's like you are following the wrong direction because this is somebody that belongs here. Yeah, it's not going where you are going. It's not going where you are going. Yes. So you are following the wrong path, definitely. Yes. Because where you are going is a different path. Mm. And so you have to follow the spirit because it is the spirit that is leading you to where you are going. Mm. And if you look at those fruits that they are talking about there, they are the Christ likeness that we are talking about. Yes. The, 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 the things that we saw in, in Christ. Mm. Maybe if I can just mention, but the fruit of the Spirit mm. is joy. Mm. Uh, is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Again, as such, there is no law. There's no law. And if you look at those fruits, mm. these are the same fruit that we saw in Christ. Mm. These are the same fruit that Christ manifested. Mm. And so if we are to be disciples mm. and be like Christ, then these are the yardsticks. The these are the yes. things that we should be able to see mm. in a believer. Yeah. We should be able to see joy. We yeah. should be able to see love. Mm. We should be able to see long suffering and perseverance. Mm. These are the things that you need to see in a, in a, Christian, in a Christian or in a believer. Mm. But you see now, the flesh, they've even said what the flesh manifests. Mm. But these things that the flesh manifests, it's for this world. It's for this they world. They're not going anywhere. Mm. And so as a believer, it's good to be wise and see that these things that are here will end up here. Yeah. They are going nowhere. Yeah. Yes. Very true. Yes. Very true. Mm. And so as a result of that, yeah. we must learn to put into subjection what needs to be to be to be to be controlled. Exactly. We must we must learn to let the spirit take control. Entirely. Entirely. Yes. And we we, we we sacrifice yes. the, the flesh. The, the flesh need to be subdued completely. Completely. Which is not an easy thing. Yeah. But it need to be <coughs> subdued. Yeah. And and uh, I think maybe in, in one of the the way in one of the the teachings maybe we look at how do you subdue it? Mm. How do you keep it under pressure? Mm. Yeah. That it cannot be able to to be keep because if you are die, if you have died to Christ. Mm. Literally, if you look at death from a literal perspective, mm. you are dead to Christ. You no, know, not to, you are dead to sin, to no, not to Christ. Mm, to you sin. are dead to sin. You are dead to self. Mm. Then how is it that now self still comes up? Yes, and want want to take control. Yes, and you are already dead to it. Mm. Is you go to a grave and uh, you see somebody coming out of the grave? Mm. I believe you run away. Yeah, yeah, because if somebody is dead, you are totally dead. Mm. Yes. Mm. Um. Look at Second Timothy chapter number two. Yeah. Uh, uh, verse eight. So Paul says, "Remember 
that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, mm -hmm. even to the point of chains. But the word of God cannot uh, but the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal mm. glory. Apostle Paul says here, mm. because of the gospel that he is preaching, he is going through some hard stuff, mm. painful things, yeah. sometimes humiliation. Yeah. Uh, because this taking of the cross, we have to understand, mm. other than the flesh, mm. can also come in another direction. Very true. People are reviling you, people yeah. are abusing you, people yeah. are um, talking yeah. ill of you. Yeah. Uh, to Apostle Paul, it went as far as his life was in danger. danger yeah. He was thrown, yeah. he was put in chains. Yeah, in he says, chains. because of the gospel. Yeah because of the gospel mm. but i love his attitude because uh, you see the the, the 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 real reason for this is for the devil to make you to give up yes so, so that you, mm, yeah, yeah. you will not continue what you are doing uh, so you can't carry it anymore mm. but he says i suffer trouble as an evildoer he's not an evildoer uh, but us as an evildoer mm. where like now he's in prison yeah where evil doers are I'm put, those there. who have stolen, those who have yeah. killed, yeah. those who have that done, have exist. broken the law, yeah. where they are taken. Mm. But then, what is his offense? Mm. Preaching the gospel. gospel yeah. Where has that landed him yeah. in prison? prison yes. Because mm -hmm. you see, uh, uh, when, when you are a disciple, as we said, there's that aspect of sacrifice, mm. that aspect that we must look at as a disciple is suffering. Suffering. You must suffer for Christ. Yes. So, so this suffering for Christ would also go uh, line in line with carrying the cross. Yes, yes. Meaning that you are suffering, yeah. not for you or because of something wrong that you have done, but you are suffering because of Christ. Mm. You are suffering because of following him. Mm. Because uh, Christ uh, uh, had many enemies. Yeah. And the enemies that were there, they, there are two kingdoms here. Mm. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. Mm. And these two kingdoms are at, at war mm. at any particular time in the life of a believer. Yeah. So you must be able to understand that as much as you are working with Christ, there is the other kingdom that doesn't want you to do so. Mm. They would want to expand their kingdom of darkness. Mm. And that kingdom of darkness... Their, their activities and everything that they do mm. of the world. They, the world. they, are, they are not going anywhere. Mm. But you see, the kingdom of light, which actually is the, is the main kingdom why we are here, mm. is a kingdom that is supposed to take us to God Take us to go to, to to Christ through to, take us to God through Christ. Mm. Actually, Christ is like the commander of this kingdom. Mm. And so when we give ourselves to him, when we believe in him, then he, he, he helps us and he fight for us. He guides us in this battle against the kingdom of darkness. Mm. That's why it's not a kingdom whereby you'd say now we are we are in this kingdom of God and now we can sit mm. and rest until the end of the age. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't that. work like that. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So a true disciple must be must be willing to suffer for Christ. Yes. To suffer for Christ. To suffer. This is an attitude that we must have. Yes. Look at the book of Luke, chapter mm. number nine. Jesus was asking the question, uh, who do people say that I am? Peter mm. answered. Verse 21, he says, and he strictly warned and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and, and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the that day. Look at the extent that Jesus went. Mm. Rejected, suffered many things yes. to the point of death. Yeah. Then verse 23, he says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come okay. after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross Day. daily and follow me. I wanted that word daily. Yes. It it's is not daily. something you are doing today, no. tomorrow you have let go. No, no, no. It's mm. a daily thing. It's a daily thing. Yeah, yeah. it's something that uh, it's part of life. Mm. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a li because now 
when 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 you get saved or when you believed mm. you get two package yeah it, it, it's one coin but with two sides with two coin. sides yeah there's the, the side of the blessing and the, the side of the suffering yeah and you cannot say that oh, if i give you a coin you'll take only one part you say give me the head and not give me the tail mm. you'll take the entire coin and you will have taken the blessing part and the suffering part yeah and that that's exactly what jesus showed us yeah he was here to bless us and at the same time suffered for us yeah and so we have if if you are to be christ like and to be his disciples then we have to follow the same path you have to follow the yeah, same it path is the same path that you have to follow and it mm. it is it is important also to to explain it because um, so that one does not like lack rent and then he thinks that uh, I'm suffering for Christ. <laughs> no. <laughs> or you are, you don't have a job and you think that you're you are suffering for Christ. Uh, if the reason why yes is because of your testimony yes. it is because of Jesus Christ Jesus, yes. then that is okay. Then that's okay. So that people are not settled at lack and yes. then they have a mentality okay. I'm suffering because, because of, of Christ. Christ. No 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 it shouldn't <laughs> be like that because now that that would uh, uh, would make people take advantage yeah and also you are not supposed to be lazy yeah you are not supposed to to walk in ignorant yes uh, you are supposed to walk with knowledge that you know mm. that you are following Christ mm. and because of your path uh, because of your work with Christ mm. then you are getting opposition yes because the fact that you carry Christ in you mm. then definitely there will be op opposition mm. we, things will not go the same way that he, you would expect them to go yes. for the other person who doesn't follow Christ. Yeah. Because for the person that who doesn't follow Christ, they also have their own rules and regulations. Yeah. But for you who follow Christ, there are commandments that you have to follow mm. as you follow Christ. Mm. And as you follow these commandments, so even if things are not working for you, mm. as long as you are within the commandments that Christ has given you, yeah. then that means things will work out for you eventually. Yeah. Even if they look bad. Even if they, at the moment they might look like they are not working, but with the time they'll continue working for you. They'll continue working. And you see, for you. In, in the kingdom of God, the mm. reason why suffering is accepted mm. is so that you are strengthened, mm. so that you 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 are you are not just somebody that uh, is there and and can change mind any time. Or we are we are soldiers actually, mm. and so we go through rigorous training to keep us abreast according to Timothy mm. so that as we we follow Christ we follow Christ like strong soldiers knowing that this is the path to go and yeah. anything that comes in between us and Christ we are ready to sacrifice for it mm. yes it is important because uh, one might be afraid of getting rich yes because they think <laughs> <laughs> as long yeah. as you are as long as you are rich within the <laughs> precepts and within the the, the commandment of God, yeah. then it is acceptable. It is okay. Yeah, but if you get rich in ways that are not of God, mm. in ways that are not right, then that means you are not following Christ. You are not you following are, Christ. You are not a disciple. Yeah, you are not a disciple. You are not a disciple of Christ. Because mm. a disciple of Christ is one who know God, number one, as you said. Number two <coughs> is the one that walk with him. Yeah. You walk the walk. Because Jesus was also rich. Yeah. And, uh, and he didn't, uh, he didn't steal from anybody. Mm. He didn't take anything that wasn't his. Mm. But he walked in the way that the Father had shown him to walk. Yeah. Yes. So we must mm. have this in our minds. Yes. If we important. are going to be true disciples, yes. our love for Christ, yeah. our love for God, mm. love him above everyone, mm. let him be number one in our lives. Priority. Yes. It's actually about priority. Priority, yes. Mm. What is it that we are prioritizing? Mm. And we must learn to take up our cross daily. 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 And, and follow. So every day I'm going to the office mm. or I'm, I'm, I'm interacting with the people out there. Uh, there should be this thing in me yeah. that it is no longer me who lives. It's, it's Christ it is who Christ who lives in me. And that's why it's recommended that you start the day with prayer. Mm. You start the day because he is the one that is guiding you. Yeah. He, you, you are living for him. Mm. Remember, you have relinquished yourself. Yeah. So there's no way you can start the day without communicating with him. Mm. So you have to communicate with him and tell him, now is a new day. Mm. Lord, what do you want me what to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? How will I follow you today? Because this day, uh, in my life is your life. My life is not mine, but it is yours. Mm. So can you guide me this day and show me how do I walk yeah. this day? 
and you find that you walk in victory. Mm. Because that, that does not mean that there will not be opposition or resistance. Yeah. Every resistance that come, since the Father had already shown you, or Christ had already shown you how to walk that day, it becomes very easy to overcome. Yeah. Yes. Mm. From the scriptures, we have seen uh, John giving us the yardstick. Yes. Uh, we have seen also from the book of Luke, yeah. Jesus saying this, if you want to be my true disciple and this. Yes. So it is important for one being discipled to be, to be aware. Yes. But uh, also because now we are living at days, remember Apostle Paul said in the last days, yeah. there will be many false teachers. Yeah. And the issue also is not only about the false teachers. Yes. Mm. There's also about many people who will want to be lied to. Yeah. Uh, they will have themselves <laughs> teachers yes. who will teach them yes. what their what, ears, what they are, they are, they are eating or they, yes. what they want to hear. Yes. So that means there's a deviation. Mm. So I don't know how you can address that so that mm. you're addressing both the teachers mm. and the, 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 the people being taught. Yes. The disciples. Mm. and the disciples yeah. so that we stick to the word yes we stick to the parameters given given because yes. there is a danger whereby mm. some are ignorant of course yeah so they they are caught up in that yes but then you see ignorance is not is not a defense anywhere yeah, yeah, it's not a so defense. yeah we need to address to the people whom mm. are teaching Be, to yeah. the people who are being taught yeah to the people who are as examples to others, yeah. to the people who are discipling others, yeah. that we say to them, stick to what is written or yeah. to what Jesus taught. Yeah. yeah. Because, uh, and that's very critical, Pastor, what you are saying. Mm. Because now there is the aspect of the teacher. Yeah. The teacher cannot just be a teacher unless he was also taught. So the teacher must also stick to what he was taught. Mm. If he's a true disciple and a true teacher, then he sticks to what he was taught. Because this is, a, as we said, this is, this is a pattern. Mm. A pattern that has come from Lois to Eunice to Timothy. So this Actually, pattern, it is what Apostle Paul says, the yes, same things that you have, ha had, you have received from me. Yes, also give to other faithful. Yeah. So that pattern must be maintained. Mm. You must maintain the same pattern. What you were taught, which has made you a disciple and has made you who you are. You want the same, same thing to be taught to your disciple. And so you are the one to teach him or her the same things that were taught to you. Yeah. And then the person that you are teaching must also do the same to the other person. But you see now, what happens is that the person that is being taught mm. may also not be, be, be having an attitude or, or may not be so keen on what is being taught and you want to mix issues. Yeah. Sometimes that's why it's very important that uh, as a disciple, you follow what you have been taught and not try to add on or to subtract on what you have been taught. And if anything, if you want to add or to subtract, it's good to go back to the teacher yeah. and ask the teacher, is it important that I add this? That I add and this. is it correct what I'm adding? Yeah. And what I'm trying to minus, is it correct? Mm. So that you are always with the teacher. That's why we said at the beginning of this show that uh, discipleship is mentorship. Yeah. And a mentor cannot go and do his own things. You go as per the mentee, or as per the mentor, the, the person that is mentoring you, you go as per what he wants you to do. A friend of mine, mm. uh, uh, a friend of mine had this uh, person that he preached to, got yeah. saved, mentored him, yeah. or discipled him. Yeah. Then he left and became a pastor in another place. The, 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 the one who was discipled. The one who was discipled. Yes. So he invited the, the his, teacher. his teacher now yeah. to the church. Yeah. So when the teacher went there now was telling me mm. he found very different things and he was asking him, where did you learn this one from? <laughs> 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 yeah. Who taught you what you are doing? Yes. Because you're always calling me father, your yeah. father. Yes. So I thought you are following my example. Oh, yes. See, Jesus said, yes. uh, he can do only what he sees the father do. Yeah, exactly. So this this pastor was asking uh, his son. Yeah. I never taught you this. He went and found uh, they were um, they were actually merchandising a lot of things. He would come, <laughs> yeah. talk to the pastor, and according to your problem, mm. then he will tell you the the, the 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 oil that you need to buy. Yes. So it would go with. 
the level of your problem. the level of your problem or the condition that you are in yeah. so you uh, but then he was asking you have never seen me sell this <laughs> yes you have never seen me do this mm. where did you get this doctrine from that means he was not a true disciple yes mm. yeah he was not a true disciple he was under he was sitting under under this teacher mm. but he never imbibed what the teacher was what giving. The, yeah he was like he was mixing and that is the danger nowadays the danger, mixing mixing yes. you are in this place yes, yeah but then you desire what is happening there what yes, is happening yeah. there what is happening there yeah and you don't even take time to check from the check, scriptures yeah. that, that's why my, my desire for the church is that we have a common curriculum mm. for all the, for discipling and and that curriculum is with christ mm. you look at the school of christ yeah how did he disciple his 12 how did the 12 disciple the 72 and how did it continue in that pattern until it reached to us? Mm. Because if you go by that pattern, you can never go wrong. Mm. But you see now, if people have different curriculums, mm. there's a different curriculum here in Mombasa, another one different in Nakuru, another one different in Kisumu, in Machakos, yeah. and all over, then the disciples are mixed up. Mm. Even if they gather together, they might not know now who is the real disciple. Yeah, because everybody will come with his own doctrine, mm. and that's where now the, the doctrine issue comes in. Yeah, but the main uh, curriculum for discipleship is with Christ. Is with Christ because Christ actually is, is, is our is, is our main mentor. Is a, yeah, yeah, he mm. is our main mentor in this discipleship school. That's why he said we make disciples yes. of him. Of him. Of him. Because you are reproducing him. You are reproducing him yeah, in the lives of the people. Yes, if you reproduce somebody that is not Christ, mm. uh, then, then you have not done discipleship. You have not done, you have not done true discipleship. It's not true discipleship. Yeah. Uh, and you see the, the 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 devil, the enemy, like falsifying things. Mm. He, he likes coming up with the with the fake. Uh, you, it looks like original. But it is not. But it's not original. Yeah. Yeah, but, but if you look at it from outside, it is almost like the same, the, the original thing. But it is not. But it's not. That's yes. very true. Mm. Yes. We have to come to the end of uh, this show. Uh, this is the making of disciples. They have to be after Jesus Christ. And perhaps you are there and you are not after like Jesus. You have not confessed him as your Lord and Savior. Uh just pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today is my day of salvation, and I confess you to be my Lord and to be my Savior. Write my name in your book of life. I receive your salvation through faith in Jesus' name. You are sick in your body. You have a condition uh, uh, in, your, in, your, in your life or in an, an area where we want Jesus to do a miracle for you. Let us believe also together, because these are the things that Jesus taught. He said the things that he did, we shall be able to do and even exceed. So he is the miracle worker and is working in your life today through faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit my viewers unto you. I pray for everyone who has got a need in their life that they need you, O oh Lord, to come through for them. Some are sick, some are in pain, some are confused and worried. They don't know where to go, O oh Lord. Some are in need of, of material things, O oh Father. I pray, O oh Lord, that you are going to bring a miracle their way. Some need, O oh Lord, emotional healing. I pray, everlasting Father, that you will pour it out unto them abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Show yourself mighty and strong for them in the name of Jesus. Let it be known, Jesus, that you are their God and that there is nothing that you cannot do. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. 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 It has been a great pleasure to be with you together with my guest. And this is the place to be. I want you to share with someone else that uh, of the man in Christ show that we may continue to learn and to grow in the knowledge of Christ. Until next time, shalom. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you. And the peace of God that passeth all knowledge and all understanding be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
This program is made possible courtesy of the Wilfred Lai Partners. For prayers, inquiry and partnership, contact us on 0800-000-898 or send a text to 23378 and our team of counsellors will help you.